folks, welcome back to yet another Jurassic World Dominion Mattel figure review. Here we have the brand new Jurassic World Dominion Ferocious Pack Velociraptor Blue figure. And I always wondered why they always called the figure Velociraptor Blue. It comes as no surprise, and I think it's pretty obvious that most Jurassic Park slash World fans know that Blue is a Velociraptor. They should just put the packaging as blue, but let's not get involved too much with the technicality of it, because this is still a really cool figure. Now, originally when I saw this figure, I'm like, oh, it's kind of lackluster. It looks the same as the Fallen Kingdom Attack Pack Blue, but this is actually quite a different figure with a lot more paint applications on it. So that being said, let's quickly take a look at the box and have a close look at the figure. So for the box, we have your standard box art of Rexy kind of running from the helicopter and there's some smashed cars and stuff in the background and some trees and broken power lines. The same art we've had with a lot of these other figures. Back of the box, you can see the other ones that are available, like the Velociraptor we have here, Miragaya, more some Trepidus, which we've previously taken a look at, and this one that I'm not even going to try to pronounce a second time because I was so bad at pronouncing it last time, but there it is, the box. Alright, so here is Velociraptor Blue, or simply Blue, out of the box, or if you can even call it that, it's more just like a slab of cardboard with some plastic on it and then some straps, but here it is blue looking so cool um like i just love the sculpt i thought it was just going to be another attack pack blue but it really isn't it's just uh more detailed i remember when i first got my attack pack blue uh, which is the only other like mattel blue figure that i have i was like oh damn they didn't put the white striping above her like blue stripe because i noticed in the movies she has this blue stripe, but then it's all framed out by a very thin um, kind of white stripe, which is here on this new figure, which I'm super psyched about. And not only do we have that thin white stripe framing her blue stripe, but we also got belly paint, a nice cream color on her belly. And obviously you got those little flecks on the sculpt, um, because again, like I said, I really love how uh, Mattel is experimenting with different kind of plastics to really bring more life to their dinosaurs in this new line we had the therizinosaurus theodore who had the kind of weird uh, marble uh, plastic as people are calling it which had different colored um like brown plastics to kind of give the illusion of different colored feathers and then on the anki we had uh, the same kind of flecking plastic but it had a lot more brown specks on it to really give more uh you know, differentiating scales here. And it's the same for blue here. Now, blue looks awesome. Uh, the unfortunate thing, and, you know, uh, Mattel, I don't think it's ever going to stop doing this, but, um, I mean, they, they did it. They did it for the Battle Damage Blue that came out uh, last year. But here you can see the, the tail stripe stops here but in the movie it goes all the way down to the tip of the tail and mattel has done this for their battle damage blue but not for their regular blue and now granted this is just a a 12 between 12 to 16 dollar figure so it's not going to be too crazy but come on man in the promotional images you even showed it with the full stripe so why is it not here um other side you can see now the striping on both sides is different this side it only goes up to here and then on this side, it goes all the way over her eye, just like in the movie. For articulation, she doesn't have much. She does kick back and forth, but it's really stiff on mine. Same with this. Her hands do move up and down. No outward movement like the Therosinosaurus. Her head can move all the way around like that. And she does have a opening mouth. You can see all those sharp teeth. Um, so she can bite blue and create a blood pack of getting my baby back getting beta back oh and also the tail does have moves but um you don't really want to move it because then it looks weird but this is a really nice blue figure I, I find that i like it more now that i have it in my possession but it's still um 
why is the tail stripe not all the way down the tail? Oh, it's crazy. But it's still a really cool figure, and I'm glad I picked it up, and I'm glad I was able to find it at my local Walmart. Uh, if you guys want to pick this up, I believe it is also showing up in Toys R Us as well. In fact, Toys R Us seems to be getting most of the Jurassic World Dominion uh, figures and merchandise. With that being said, let's move on to size comparisons. Alright, first up for comparison here, we have both of the Ferocious Pack figures that I've reviewed thus far. We have the Morris Intrepidus, which it's still not accurate to the movie, but hey, it's still a pretty cool figure. And we might get a more accurate version of it in the future because Mattel has leaked that they are making another version of this figure. So we might get a movie accurate one and then obviously it is there next to the new Ferocious Pack Blue. Here we have it next to the Extreme Damage Dimetrodon. Pretty cool, and you can see how they size up with uh, Dimetrodon being very close to the ground, so obviously it's very uh, short. And finally, here is Blue next to the Roar Strikers Ankylosaurus. So with everything all done, I do have to say, I think this is a far superior figure over the only one other Mattel Velociraptor Blue figure I have, which is the Attack Pack Blue from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom movie. This one is definitely not the best figure out there, as I've seen Mattel really put out some really good blue figures. And uh, in theory, we do have the Battle Damage Blue, which was really good, but here this is just a cheap figure, but it does what it needs to do. It's a really nice, solid figure, and definitely it's come a long way since the original Attack Pack Blue that came out for Fall of the Kingdom. But let me know what you guys thought about the video on before I forget, actually, because um, I'm sure people are going to complain if I don't do it. There is the code, so you can get um, Velociraptor Blue in your um, uh, Jurassic Facts app. Game. so there's that but yeah before uh, I, I went away I wanted to quickly get that because I know I didn't do it in my last video and people probably got upset about it but here is blue hope you guys enjoyed the review definitely pick it up if you can and with that being said hope you guys enjoyed do take care and have a great night